right. Vita moja kukni. Dzisiaj gotowam Gina Kova. Thank you so much. Dzisiaj gotowam Hatski Gina Kova. Gina Kova. Close enough? Potato pancakes. That's what we're doing today. Lock keys. All right, so uh, three languages. I wish I knew some others, but I don't. Um, all right, so this is something really fun to do. We've been playing Guitar Hero all day and now we're hungry. So we're going to take our russet potatoes. We're gonna take a little salt and pepper, uh, a whole onion, basically a quarter cup. We're gonna have that all diced, peeled. We're gonna throw this all into my good retro Le Chef food processor. Grind it up, and we're gonna drain out some of the liquid. And then we're gonna make a mushroom sauce for them. Some people eat them with sour cream, some people like them with uh, some applesauce. You can do homemade applesauce too. That's what this little device is for. Um, but today we're going to do a mushroom sauce because my wife loves mushroom sauce. So, um, it's pretty simple to make. Um, you can mix in some chives in with the potatoes as well as in the mushroom sauce or as a fresh garnish on top of them. They're going to look beautiful. You'll love them. We've got kosher salt as an ingredient. About three quarters of a pound of uh, mushrooms. Got some flour, pepper, and some beef stock, about two cups to make our sauce. A couple of eggs are here too. These are from uh, my mother-in-law's uh, farm. She has uh, a bunch of chickens over there, so we get fresh eggs. And uh, nothing tastes better than a, spe uh, a fresh egg. So uh, let's get started. I guess uh, there's nothing more for me to do but then to get peeling. Yay, the most fun part. Luckily, I've got rabbits. So, dual purpose dinner tonight. I'll be right back. But I'm gonna. All right, that's the hard part behind the scenes. <laughs> the video with that other button got. Oh, no, wait. All right, I'm going. I'm playing. Oh, 
Yeah. Just eats these potatoes up, I tell you. This must be made in Ireland, I don't know. Nothing wrong with that. I made in Ireland. So, so is the DeLorean the best car in the world. So, got no problem with that. Alright. Alright, so. Now I can take that off, put it in the dishwashing area. Pull that blade off, and we've got this shredded potatoes here. And what's great about that is, that, you know, the bottom part of them are going to be more pulverized. The top part is going to have a little more body to them. And all we have to do is drain out a little bit of that moisture, so I'm going to let them sit a little bit. And uh, after they've done that. I'm basically just going to try to get as much moisture out of there as possible by letting it sit upside down, drain that out so it dries, then I'm going to add in a little bit of extra coarse uh, chive, a little bit of extra coarse onion, do a little bit of egg in there, final amount, about a tablespoon each of pepper and salt. Put them together and we'll start making them into patties. If you can see here, you can already tell all the liquid that's coming out of that potato. You don't want that in your fry oil because it basically wrecks the oil and it splatters and can burn you as it splashes out of the uh, frying pan. So, so we'll just let it drain out and then we'll get going. All right. So I'm recovering from a little extra sharp knife fiasco. I've been uh, cooking for a long time, had a restaurant for a long time, and anybody who knows anything is, every once in a while a sharp knife will get you. So, yay. Um, it smarts a little bit, but um, we'll keep that covered for now. So here, is my main ingredient for my potato pancakes. Now the egg, the potatoes, the onion, the shallot, you know, whatever you want to call this. Everybody calls it something different. It's just green onion. All right, so let's just call it green onion. I'm gonna throw that back in the blender, powderize it, we're gonna blast it to oblivion, put a little bit of extra salt and pepper, which I'm gonna do right now. When that's finally blasted, it's gonna look like almost like mashed potato. Then we pack them down into a little patty, throw them in our frying pan over there. So we're almost there, we're getting there. Calm down, we're getting there. <laughs> okay, so come on over, take a look at these mushrooms. These are some great mushrooms. I think they were grown in my cellar. No, they were, I don't know where they were grown. But this is the onion, um, beef broth, and uh, onions, um, you can add whatever mushrooms you want into it though. Uh, out here in the Grand Mesa in Colorado, we go mushroom hunting for uh, what my mother-in-law calls uh, King Boletta. Porcini mushroom is what it is. Is there a Polish word? What does she call them? I forget, I don't know. But they're basically, the King Boletto or Porcini. What is it? Projivski. Projivski. Something like that. Projivski. Projivski. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I think they've been mushroomed to death out here, so they're harder to find, or it's just the fact that we've had a drought. But anyway, we've got a bunch of dry ones, so you dice them up and uh, throw them in there because we usually dry them on a screen in the backyard. You know, kind of traditional. <laughs> Porcinis are great. You can use shiitake mushrooms. You can use anything else. Any kind of mushrooms work, whatever you like. We're gonna throw a little flour in there, a little salt, pepper, a little bit of extra bacon grease. And uh, we're gonna have the best mushroom gravy you can believe. So let's get going on these uh, latkes. 
Okay, a little flour for thickening. And uh, about three tablespoons of butter in with my mushrooms. So you can tell it's thickening up. It'll make a good sauce. Now we're gonna put it on real low simmer. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, if you look over here, we have our, uh, I've been straining out the moisture from our potatoes. So everything's blended in. As you can tell, it's now a more fine uh, grind instead of a coarse ground. And I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on top of them. Okay. Because once I add my final batch there, and we do our final mix, when we make them into our pancakes or our latkes or Whatever they're called in Polish. The Zimniaki. Zimniaki oh, Pani something or other. <laughs> okay, Plaski Zimakova. Then, once we get them all ready to throw into the pan, uh, that will take up any of the extra moisture that's in there and give it a little bit of thickening. So, I'm just going to lay that on top and we'll be almost ready to go. Okay. Oh my gosh, so our lockies are done. We got the dog is uh, trying to steal our food. Here's my cameraman, Eric Krupp. There he is. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Nathrovia! Nathrovia! All right. We'll say, uh, so anyway. Okay, so my wonderful sauce is all done. Uh, cooked up a little bit of uh, the latkes here. I still have a little batch over there. All the wonderful dirty dishes for you later. All right, are they any good? Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Very good. What do you say, Eric? I'll eat like five or ten of those. Well, good. I've got about 30 of them that are going to be coming out soon, so you'll be full. Oh boy, are you ready for food? Hi, Mama. All right. Well, I guess that's it. All I have to do is show you how to throw them in the pan. So, I mean, the rest you can do on yourself. Um, pretty, pretty simple, but. If you do it wrong, they taste like crap. If you do them right, everybody's smiling. I need like five more already. I'm done here. And all right, all right. I'm going to get back to work. Back to work. Thank you, guys. Love you. but that's okay. Oh, I've got my private uh, stash here. So, anyway, I hope everybody's enjoyed. I have. So, anyway, your lock to use are pretty simple. I mean, you do need to have a food processor of some kind. Now, I've got a Ninja and I've got my old-fashioned Sunbeam food processor. I like using my old Sunbeam. I just feel like it works a little better. Um, anyway, Lockheed's mushroom sauce, you can use um, you can make yourself like almost a um, Greek yogurt. Take Greek yogurt 
and make a uh, tzatziki sauce with it. Okay, that would be great on top of that too. Or you can just do sour cream or applesauce. Anyway, I'm just going to finish these up. They're still playing um, Guitar Hero, so uh, hopefully I'll grab another couple of these things and then I'll feed the rest of them. They're so good. Don't underestimate the potato. Love the potato. Potato is your friend. I forgot how you say goodnight. Uh, Dobre vietsu. Dobre and, uh, Dobre That's Verzenia or whatever. Dobre yeah, I, the James Bond. Dobre Dobranos. Dobranos. There you go. Dobranos, good night. We love you all. Thanks for watching. Kurt's weird ass kitchen. Have a good night.